What's your motivation? I mean, what really is your motivation? What motivates you? I mean, is it picking up a big, huge truck tire like this? Many people can't do that. But if that's your motivation, this guy has done it. He succeeded. He's pushed over that tire. Or you go for that killer exercise on the beach. Where you throw that shot put, that barbell, that pedal bell. You throw it and it works. You're pushing that tire. You done pushed it 10 times. That's my motivation. I succeeded. Everybody has different motivations. But what's yours? These may be these guys' motivation, but what's your motivation? I already know what mine is. This is what mine is. I've always dreamed of being some kind of rich and wealthy guy. It could be by this platform. It could be by lottery. It could be by some other success God may throw towards me. But I know in my mind it has happened. God has blessed me with this. Now, when it manifests and in, in the day I see it, only God knows that. But it's been done. This is how I want to be. But everybody's motivation isn't money. Everybody's motivation isn't wealth. Some people just getting out of their bed in the morning is motivation them because maybe it's hard for them to get up. They're depressed and to get through life, to be able to get dressed and go to work. I mean, what is yours? Is it getting this big house on the hill? Isn't it buying your first car vet? I mean, what is your motivation? Some people adore vehicles. Their motivation is to own one, to purchase one. That's all they think about. When you're sitting there getting that nice massage, you daydream, you, you, you get inspired because you're so relaxed. You go into a different frame of mind. You're thinking out how you want your life to be. So when you're getting that massage and that rub down, you know. Because this person's motivation was to get that special Apple iPhone. To be able to listen to anything she wants on that Apple iPhone. So that was her motivation. To be able to do that. And you're probably like, is that really a motivation? Or a motivation to get married? For a guy to come propose to you? To be able to say, hey, I'm married. Look at my ring. That's a lot of people's motivation, believe it or not. They're motivated by just that. So when you're sitting and you're thinking, you're like, man, I sure would like this, this, and this in my life. That's what motivates me to come in and get this massage and go to work and fulfill all my dreams. Motivation is a big thing in society, people. When you're motivated, that's what keeps us going. God instilled this in us to keep us want to go on, to not get so down where you just don't care about your life anymore. Millions and millions of people are out there and what motivates them to drive and go to work and do the things they do, it has to be something. Now, as I drive around town, I done asked many people about this subject and they all give me a different answer. Everybody's motivation is different. You may get 20 of the same answer, but mostly everybody has a different motivation. That's the great thing about society. What's your motivation may not be my motivation. And I get it. But truly, truly, motivation is what keeps us ticking. Without motivation, what kind of society will we be? We'll be lifeless. You ever think about that? I mean... Some people's motivation is just to run up that stairs, run up to the top, to be able to run to that top of that hill. Because before they wasn't able to do it, they would get tired and conquer out. And then they would go home and say, wow, one day I'm going to make it to the top of this hill. Or be able to, to beat that chessboard. I mean, you're thinking, you're changing sides, you're, 
you're wondering, how could I beat myself? That's how I grow and strengthen my brain. To take up a game like chess and master it. That's how I do it. In elementary, I won a chess championship in elementary school. But now I haven't played played chess in years. But that's not my motivation. But that could be somebody else's motivation to be a grand wizard. To master the game of chess. And you probably look at that like, really? Is that all? But to that person, that means a lot. Whatever your motivation is, don't care about what somebody else think about it. You care about what you think about it. You have to care about that passion, that motivation. Because that's what's going to keep you going. That's what's keeping this guy going. One side to the next. Or what about that motivation to just finish a marathon? I mean, maybe you're not a top-notch athlete from a country to be able to win it. But you just want to finish it. Or getting that killer promotion. <clears throat> Some people promotion means a lot to them. Promote to a sergeant. A three-striper. That may be somebody's motivation. Because when you do, you're somebody. You have power. And some people might like that power. Like me. I used to drive submarines for a living. But in the Navy, that wasn't my motivation. So when I tell people about it, they get excited. But I wasn't excited. I did not like being in the Navy. Even though I used to drive a big nuclear submarine like this. But what does it mean? It wasn't my motivation. Actually, I was in misery. Because I hated the whole concept of being told what to do. When you're in the military, you get told where to go, what to do, how to turn a ship, how to guide a ship. I mean, I did not like it. Some people's motivation is to get their bachelor's or master's degree in college. <clears throat> or to meet that dream girl, to be able to win her over. You see her every day and you love her, but she don't know that. Or what about him? He don't know that. That might be your motivation to get that husband, to get that boyfriend and have him propose to you. Or to finish that last set in the gym. You go to the gym every day and your motivation could be just to finish that set. So you meditate every day to get that inner strength. That inner strength to meditate to relax you and to get things done because some people when they mo when they meditate like a guy I used to look at named Kobe Bryant was big in the meditation and it made him one of the greatest players of all time now what about trying to make that basketball team that could be a lot of people's motivation right there is to make that basketball team because if you don't play good you'll get cut so the fact you're on a basketball team or you make it that's a big deal that means you must be pretty good. So whatever your motivation is, people, you stick with it. I was an orange bill for years. Still to this day have not made it to black bill. But that wasn't my motivation. This is 8 Dog 8. Thank you for listening to this motivational speech for me. Stay tuned for the next video if you like what you heard. Because let me tell you, Egg Dog 8 is here to bring you the message. Bye-bye.